Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid clipping your mixes in Reaper. So what is clipping or digital overs or distortion? It's when you make your mix or each track in your mix so loud that it distorts or overloads the mixing bus. For example, I have a waveform right here and it looks fine, but if we make it too loud like this, we can see up here, it turns the waveforms into square waves, which is going to sound terrible and very distorted. So I'm going to show you how to avoid this with your mixes. I have a project right here with some drums, piano, bass, and synths. Let's hear it now. Now it seems to sound fine. We don't really hear any audible distortion, but there still might be. And I should also mention, if we go to the master track, go to view, master track, I have effects on the master bus. I'm using an EQ and a compressor, but I'm not using a limiter, so it's not limiting the output of this mix. So let's check for digital overs or clipping. And the way to do that is to go to File and choose Render, which opens up the Render dialog. Here's where we render any final mixes we need. So let's set it up to Master Mix, Entire Project, and go down here and do a dry run, which is a test or a preview of our mix. And it runs it, and we can see with these red lines, that it is clipping. And we can see over here, our mix is 2.6 dB too loud and 245 samples that are clipping. So even though we don't hear it, there's still digital overs or distortion in our final mix. And that's not good. And we should also take note of this number right here, the LUFS value. This is going to tell us the perceived loudness of our mix. Let's remember this number. So to fix our clipping by 2.6 dB is we could adjust the master fader. Just right click it, notice it's set at zero. You can readjust it here. We'll just type in the value. Let's type in negative 2.7. So it should no longer clip because it was clipping by 2.6. Let's close this and let's render it again. We'll just preview it right here. And now we can see there's no overs or clipping. Our peak is at minus 0.1 with no samples clipping, but notice the WUFS value changed. It's minus 17.8. So it's gonna be quieter than the previous mix. Let's compare. It sounds like this now and before it sounded like this. So it was a bit louder, which may not matter depending on your purposes or your use. If you're sending it to a mastering engineer, the volume or perceived volume shouldn't matter. They'll take care of that. You just don't want your mix to clip because they can't undo that. So if you just want to avoid clipping, this is our solution. But if you still want your mix to have the same perceived loudness from before, we should do this instead. Leave the master track at zero like before and add a limiter to the end of our master track. Let's go to the track effects on the master track. Let's add a limiter to the end of our chain. Type in limit in the filter and we can choose any of these limiters to do this job. But my personal preference is this one. 
the Event Horizon limiter. Let's choose it. And now with this plugin, we could limit the output of our mix. And if we leave the threshold at zero and keep the ceiling right here, it should avoid any clipping without making our mix sound lower. Let's preview the render again, right down here. And notice there was still no clipping. Our peak is still under zero and no samples are over zero or clipping. But notice the LUFS value is the same. So we kept the same volume or perceived volume as the original mix, but we avoided clipping. Let's hear the difference. Before and after. It pretty much sounds the same. And if we want to make our mix even louder, we could adjust the threshold over here. If we set it here and preview the render again, notice we still have no clipping, but the WUFS value is now louder. So the perceived volume is going to be a bit higher. But we are adding some artifacts with the limiter plugin. And to check this, I like to use this trick. Let's put this back to its default. Let's edit this plugin. Let's scroll down on the slider. Let's add a few lines of code. We'll type in slider2 equals slider1. And then we'll put a semicolon at the end. Hit save. And now, if we move the fader on the threshold, the ceiling goes with it. And it keeps both values the same. It's a nice trick for hearing the artifacts of this plugin without the volume getting louder. We can adjust that later. Let's hear what's happening. Notice it starts to sound pretty bad. So we want to use this very lightly. I think right about there sounds pretty good. And now we could delete those lines of code right here and save it. And now we can bring up our ceiling by double clicking it to its default. So now our mix should be a bit louder. And if you render it or render preview it, it's not clipping and our LUFS level or the perceived loudness is a bit louder. But if you don't need that, and in many situations you don't, you don't really need to make you mix this loud, we can just avoid our clipping by putting this back to zero. And now we still avoid any clipping and keep the original mix exactly as we heard it. Or if you're not worried about how loud your mix is, just adjust the volume of the master fader to completely avoid clipping. So that's pretty much it. That's how to avoid clipping your mixes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.